been up long? A while. Some fresh coffee there. Mm, I fancy a fry up. You? You know, I've been thinking the cellar needs sorting. I could get cracking on that first thing, then go see Steve about getting my job back. Forget the cellar. Hmm. Fair enough, but it Listen does... to me, Carl. I am not prepared to leave myself open to any more of your lying or your gambling. Stella, I promise. That's not enough. I don't want you to have anything more to do with money. <laughs> not a problem, seeing as how broke I am. I am serious. I want the rest of your bank cards, now. <laughs> and I don't want you working in the pub anymore. Eh? The takings, the till, the safe, it's just too tempting for you, Carl. Do all stylists dress like that? Like what? Scruffy. It's casual. And yeah. You look great. Anyway, it's a hairdresser's, not a bank. How much does it cost for a cut? A lot more than me grand, I can tell you that much. Even for family? Especially for family. Mm. He's gonna make an appointment. We wouldn't do much of his credibility, his mum turning up. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Love you. Love you. Mm. All right, best get off. Hey, Audrey's really gonna regret sacking you. Me mum's gonna regret a lot before she's finished. That Lewis has taken her for everything she's got. Good job the salon's still in your name. And when you've built up enough clients of your own in town, you'll be able to get them to come to your salon here. Do you fancy a drink after work? Well, what about Max? No, I said I'd take him to the pictures and then out for his tea. So, shall I meet you at the salon? Well, I don't know what time I'll finish, so what, shall I just meet you with the Rovers? Yeah. OK, bye-bye. <coughs> See ya. Yeah, I should be able to. Just hang on. Carla, could you pick Si up from Holiday Club? It's, uh, it's Howard, you know, from the group. He, he needs me to go to a meeting. I do have to work and all, you know. Please, love, it's dead important. OK. okay. Yep, yeah, that's sorted. Yeah, I'll see you then. Cheers, H. Hey, that's not a problem, is it? Well, Simon's not going to be too thrilled, is he? Me picking him up. Hey, you're his mum now, not Leanne. Do yourself a favour, don't let him see he's getting to you. Have you noticed? When you've lost something, it's always in the last place you look. Morning. Oh, um, Sally, are you? Oh, hi, Sal. I'm so pleased Carl has given you a job back. Thanks, Jess. I hope you don't want your old machine. I'm using it. No problem. Hey, but newbie's still by the cakes, though. There's no getting out of that one. <laughs> Sally. Thanks, Sal. It's Carl kind of expecting you. Yes. And I'm more than happy to get back into things at the bottom before the deal goes through. Deal? Yeah, so it's absolutely fine you using my machine. Right. Morning. Well, I, I thought now might be a good time to tell everybody about our plan, wouldn't you say? Oh, we haven't actually signed anything yet, Sally. We are still talking, aren't we? You see, I thought it might be a good idea to buy Frank's shares as soon as it became available, you know, to help Underworld get back on its feet. And, well, I don't think I'm overstating it if I say that, well, in a lot of ways, I've been the answer to Carla's prayers. You all right? Yeah, I suppose so. It's a lovely service. Mm. So many people. <laughs> it's a popular man. Thanks. What for? For coming with me. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Well, I'm sorry we had to leave so quickly. No, it's all right. I mean, you had to go to work, didn't you? And I didn't want to stick around, cos all that, oh, look how much you've grown stuff, just does me a day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go see my grandma in a couple of weeks or so, you know, make sure she's all right. Yeah, she'd like that. And, uh, speaking of my grandma, got yourself a big fan there. Oh, that's nice. Would have thought she hadn't even noticed me. Of course she did. Times like this, you just keep going over all the stuff you didn't do. Didn't say. Just can't help but think I should have spent more time with him. Well, at least you two made up, eh? After you fell out. Imagine how you feel if you hadn't. I know. And he's obviously happy with you because he wouldn't have left you all that money. I've been thinking about that. And what to do with it. Well, as long as it's something that'll make Jeff proud. Well, not buy tickets to Bangkok, you mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like my dad used to say, there's so much of England to explore. Never mind the world. Yeah, well, don't worry. The closest you're going to get to Thailand is a banquet for two from the takeaway later. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> David! 
Have you asked Chelsea's client if she'd want a drink? Uh, yeah, she, she's fine for me. Ooh, you think that cup's gonna wash itself? You doing? I'm gonna see you in the movies. Oh, never mind me. What you doing? How's Doc's body work? You can explain everything. Like Hi. How can I help? Uh, well, I'd like to make an appointment, please. Of course. For when? Now will be good. I'm free. Aaron, senior stylist. I'm actually, it was David I wanted. David? Is in. Yeah, just seeing if he remembered me. Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> he used to do me hair in Weatherfield. I was just talking to their junior stylist, that little Maria. She said the place is falling apart without you. Oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> so if you're free... Yeah? Come into town specially. <laughs> I'm after the solicitors and the salon. Oh, I can't believe Peter is being so unreasonable. Oh, yeah, you can. Actually, yeah. Does he really think he can get away with banning you from seeing Simon altogether? Oh, he thinks he's worried his law. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks or feels, including Simon. Yeah, well, you make sure the sister puts it right. No worry on that score. See you later. See you, love. Hi. 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 Everything all right? Well, I'm still here, so... Oh, I thought you were seeing Steve. Oh, yeah, he got caught up in town, so I've agreed to nip over later. I can still do the salad for if you want. No, um, I want you to go to Freshos for me. I've got a list. No problem. Right. I want a receipt and I want the change. Right. Stella, mm -hmm. is it all right if you nip away a bit earlier? Dev and the kids are back later. Ah, oh, I bet you're looking forward to seeing them. Yeah. Yeah, you can go after lunch. Tina will be back by then. Thanks. You and Deb will be like a pair of newlyweds, I guarantee it. Absence really does make the heart grow fond of you. Any idea when Tommy's back from his funeral? I've got an exhaust. What needs picking up? Yeah, it shouldn't be too long. He said he wasn't stopping. Tina's got to go to work. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, no! Ta -da! <laughs> no! What? <laughs> I expected the door to fall off and a clown jump out. <laughs> like, well, maybe. <laughs> How'd you get this from? Got it from that, um, Carlo oh. on the ring road. Saw it, fell in love with it. Yeah, slippery Sam's. Have to be. <laughs> He's like a nice bloke, he was sound. Sam's about as sound as that exhaust, mate. Well, what made you buy it? It's a surprise for Tina. The yeah, only surprise is if it'll travel around another corner. <laughs> hey, you two will be laughing on the other side of your face when I go touring with Tina this summer. Might not even come back. Well, setting off in that thing, not coming back, is pretty much guaranteed. So, do you reckon you could get it started again? Yeah, of course. Good. Park it round the back. I don't want folks seeing it on half pole court. <laughs> Fantastic, Ta. Good. Glad you like it. How much is it? Um, 50. That's what the charge here. Worth every penny. I'll see to that. Uh, top job, don't you think? As long as you're happy. Yeah, best style I've ever had. Kylie Platt. <laughs> so, sister, wife, both. Oh, what's it matter? He's a brilliant stylist, and you've got him sweeping floors. That's what he's paid for. He used to manage his grand salon. A few blue rinses for grandma is not the same as real hairdressing. I'm just as good as you. You're ten times better than this poser. He can't stop checking himself out in the mirror. I bet he even kisses his reflection when he's on his own. Kyla, heard enough. You're fired. Get out and take a Rottweiler with you. This time next year, he'll be back to buy this poxy salon. Oh, go back to Granny. That's all you're fit for. One more word from you, I'll shove that brush up your nose. Excuse me. There. That's all him. Yeah, well, now what am I going to do? pulling that stump with a cap. Carl, I would need a calculator to work out how many ways you were out of order. Steve, what if you'd had an accident? What if you'd killed somebody? They'd throw away the key and then you'd drag streetcars through the mud with you. Yeah, and I will wake up at night thinking about it. I was desperate. But what can I do to prove myself? Name it. You know what my definition of an idiot is? Somebody who doesn't learn from the mistakes. I am not an idiot. I meant me. You know the amount of people, and granted, mostly women, who have said, trust me, and I have, I never learn. 
So what are you saying? I'm saying I would be stupid to give you another chance to do me over again. Can I have a word, ladies? Um, because of the problems we've been having, um, I'm really sorry, but I won't be able to pay your wages until Monday. You mean with the robbery? Yeah. So, our jobs are safe? Oh, yeah, but um, we still need to tighten our belts and look to up profits in any way we can. Right, well, I need my wages to see me through the weekend. Oh, right, well, I can, um, I can give you 30 quid so bit if that's enough to see you through. Oh, that'd be really good if you could. Thank you. OK. We will be all right. Yeah. But you won't say anything to anyone, will you? Of course not. Thanks. Don't make me regret this. Oh, you won't, mate. What, you fancy a shift tonight? Uh, yeah, do a double one. Start about an hour, if you like. Steve's got me a job. Oh. Just I'm short of experienced drivers. I know what it's like working in this place, in each other's pockets, 24 hours a day. Well, if it's OK, I'll be picking up Carl's wages. <laughs> hey? He wants me to look after them, don't you, love? Just remembered I've got to go to the bank. <laughs> you know. to stick the boat in in front of Steve. I have just had to tell my staff I can't pay their wages. So if you want to compare notes and embarrassment, feel free. Stella? Hmm? Is it all right if I go now? Yeah, of course you can. I'm really sorry about the wages. It can't be helped. Enjoy your reunion. Before you go... Oh, not here, not now. Me and Stella had a long chat last night. She wants us to try and make a go of it. What do you want? Well, it's not a case of what I want. Blowing all that money the mess it's got us into. I need to make things right for her. Of course. Look, we'll just have to forget it ever happened. Yeah. For the best, eh? I must go. Dev and the kids are coming home. Last thing we want is Stella to find us whispering together again. Hey! Not too late with these. Oh, oh. <laughs> Joking before you know. Hey, don't say that. She might take him back. Uh, <laughs> may I? Yeah, yeah. You have any cakes, Al? Uh, no, thanks. Look, if you're uh, if you're wary of me because of my involvement with Frank Foster, look, I wouldn't blame you one bit. I would be too. And of course we're not. Well, I can't help thinking back a month or two. Singing a heck of a different tune then. She just had a head turn. Didn't take much turning. Mm, look, Carla's not holding any grudges. It'd be nice if you didn't either. No, it's not like you're the only one he took in. You fool me and all first. You know, it's so good to be back. What's going on here, then? A tea party. Uh, would you like a cake? There's one for you and one for Carla. No, thanks. I hope you're not on a diet. There's no hope for any of us if you think you need to lose any weight. No, I'm not, actually. Just feel a bit queasy. Right, everybody. Back to work. We have got a business to say. Oh. 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 Um... Check out the next one. Mm. I'm buying. Seeing as they'll save 50 quid on me, yeah? Yeah, and I won't be getting paid for the foreseeable. Two lagers, please. Not working. Nope, change of plan. Mm -hmm. Look, I know you thought you were doing the right thing and that, Kylie, but I'd have been fine in a week or two. David, a bully like that Aaron, he were enjoying himself way too much to give you a break. Better than what I've got now, which is no. What you've got, I hope, is your self-respect. Look, I've been sacked twice in the space of two weeks. I'm hardly going to get a decent reference from either of them. I just can't see where I'm going to get another job from. You own a salon. Yeah, but... But what? Audrey bullied you out every bit as much as Aaron. What is her business? But that's it. It's not. It's yours, and she's past it. You want to be across there now, bringing in the younger end. Not Granny's wanting to look good for the funeral director. Do you know what? You're right. So what are you going to do about it? <laughs> What's that smell? So we're burning. Hey, it looks like someone's big ideas going up in smoke. <laughs> right. OK. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm supposed to know what that is. <laughs> Look, it, if you speak to anyone who's properly travelled, right, and I mean, like, properly travelled, they'll tell you that this is what they did it in. <laughs> Look, two weeks, three weeks tops, this will be a mobile palace that can take you to all those places that your dad told you about. So long as those places are scrapyard. <laughs> <laughs> With this, we can go all over England, Ireland, Britain, Europe, if you want. I don't know what to say. No, neither did we. <laughs> you can do it in your dad's memory and in my granddad's. This is the most thoughtful, 
brilliant thing anyone has ever done for me. <laughs> Don't know. How can you not? Um, what did you do today? Nothing, it's from my book. Oh, yes, it's on my desk. Um, it's on my desk, and you can sit in my chair and read it, can't you? Your chair. Or anybody else's chair, if you don't want to sit in mine. You can decide when you get there, OK? The bistro? Yeah. Who's paying? I thought I might be. Yep. All right, all right. See you then. What did David want? Peace talks, apparently. Me and his job back. Hey, oh. Leanne. Hi. What are we doing for you today, then? Well, my heart says something radical. My head says you'll only regret it. <laughs> right, well, it's make your mind up time now. So what are you thinking, then? You're going to take him back, or what? Oh, Maria, that's my grandson. Well, I think you're too soft. Oh, you wait till Liam's a bit bigger. You'll swear this time I will not give in. And then five minutes later, he gets what he wants. Aren't I right, Liam? Uh, yeah, probably. It's not really a problem I have anymore. Well, I just want all this nonsense to be over. Then I'll be happy. Bye-bye. See ya. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> oh, Carla, I just wanted to be there a chance to look at those ideas of Jot again. I had a quick glance, but I've just been busy, that's all. Oh, right. I mean, they're only broad brush strokes, but if you think there's any merit in them, I'd be very happy to develop them further. Oh, yeah, why don't you do that? Oh, OK, yeah. Yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah, OK. You know, she's got an eye on my desk. I've seen her looking. Listen, you just have to think of her like a rich auntie who's coming to stay, you know? You put up with her pinching your cheeks and telling you you put on weight because of her money. Yes, well, I've never had a rich auntie. No, neither have I. Which is why we need little Miss Sunshine to invest in our business. Does it have to be Sally? I know. But I've not exactly got the best track record ever for choosing business partners. Well, there's that. At least you won't fall in love with this one. Once she's signed on that dotted line, we'll be doing things our way, not hers, all right? Mm. My dad lets me have a drink of something to eat after Holly Club. Oh, really? Um, do you want some hot chocolate? Please. Oh, but, but if, if that's all right. Yes, of course. All right. Come on, Bella. Oh, Reggie. Oh. How come Haley knows what to do with him and I don't? <laughs> Tough, is it? Well, men I can handle, but that little boy, he's harder work than any of them. Yeah, I think you should get hairdressers on the NHS. I like having your hair done to make you feel a bit better. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, I didn't realise that was the time. Hey? Marcus has got Liam. I promised I'd pick him up by now. He's really good at looking after us, isn't he? Yeah, he is, yeah. <laughs> See you, Leanne. Your dog, is it Ozzy? Yeah, what about him? Just seen him on my bike street. Nearly ran straight under a van. Are you sure? Yeah, black Labrador, red collar. Yeah, Kirk normally walks in my yeah. van. There were nobody with him. Oh, no. I'll watch the salon. Yeah, thanks, Kylie. Lock the door. Shout once. Not once. Really? Really? Not even on the golf course? No, what would I? Well, I think it was brilliant and Asha's a sweetheart and we all had a fantastic time. Is right. that for us? I'm starving. Yeah, it's a welcome home treat. Oh. <sighs> so? Hi, honey. How have you been? Fine. Come on. <laughs> mm. So, mm. anything happened? Have I missed anything? No. Nothing, but I've, you know me, Mrs. Boring. Anything but. So, really, how was it? No, it was good. It was really good. But um, not nearly as good as if you'd been with us. Oh, you mean when they were playing up? No. I mean that late at night when they were asleep. I wanted to talk to you. Tell you all the things I should have said ages ago. Oh? Yeah. Like you're right. I've taken you for granted, and I don't deserve you. And from now on, I'm a changed man. Don't make promises you can't keep. I mean it. I love you, silly. And I love you. Mm. Audrey! Oh, now whatever's wrong? What's this run off? Oh, sweetheart, when? I don't know. Kyla came into the salon and said that he was loose on Viaduct Street. Kyla? Yeah, but if he's on his own, then Kurt might have had an accident. Uh, or maybe he's walking down the street with Ozzy now. Oh, brilliant. Kirk! Do you know what? He must have gone back to find him. He's so intelligent sometimes. Really? 
Oh, you mean Ulster? Ulster! <laughs> is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. Just been playing with his mate, Harry the Puggle on the Red Wreck. But... And David didn't meet me in the bistro. Oh. Was. We ought to have brought a telly. Yeah, we can make us own entertainment. Not on these camp beds, they're dead rickety. <laughs> oh, God. David! Oh, I don't think that's his first customer. David! Carly, you in there? For sure. <sighs> David, what do you think you're doing? Reclaiming what's rightfully mine. And making sure Lewis don't get his hands on it. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You sound the sound over. And me, do you remember that? Yes, when I was ready to give it up, which is not now. And we think it is. Oh. Right now. I bet you put him up to this, didn't you, Matamar? You shouldn't have sacked him. Nothing to do with you, that. Oh, dear, just call the police. Yeah, go on, call them, and then get done for wasting police time. I could break the door down. No, no, no. Thank you, Kirk. This is ridiculous. David, what are you trying to achieve? My rights. Why don't you come back tomorrow, yeah? I think we might be able to fit you in about tennis for a trim. Yeah, I'll be back all right, and you'll be gone for good. Hey, Audrey. What? Enjoy your retirement. Oh, God. No. Cheers. <laughs> I'd like to try and make her understand why I had to do what I did and hoping that she will forgive me. Could there be a heart-rending reunion after decades for a daughter and her mum next long-lost family returns? <laughs>